new videos every day. Life Wisdom. Hi friends, it's Cindy. We're going to be stretching it out and getting flexible today. That's the plan. Um, so go ahead and start in a comfortable cross-legged seated position. Um, if you need to heighten up your, uh, your sitting bones, go ahead and place a pillow or a blanket underneath um, your hips. We're going to start by um, getting to know the breath a little bit uh, just by doing just a simple twist. So we're going to inhale the arms up above head. And then exhale, rotate the body to the left, drop the right palm to the left knee, and drop the right arm behind you. And find a nice twist, inhaling to extend, exhaling to sink further into it, rolling the shoulders down the back, inhale once more, rooting down through the hips and extending out the crown of the head. And exhale, lean a little more into it and exhale to come up, inhale, exhale, drop to the right side, left palm to right knee, right palm behind your low back, inhale, elongate the spine, exhale, twist to the right side, rolling the shoulders down the back one more time, inhaling to root down and extend, exhaling to twist, Inhale to come back up to center. Pull palms through heart center. Welcome to your practice. <laughs> so in this uh, seated position, let's go ahead and take the palms behind us on the mat. The fingertips are faced towards the knees, towards the hips. And um, we want to lean back into our hands and making sure, make sure there's plenty of space between the shoulder blades. Maybe roll them back a few times because we're going to begin to lift our hips forward. And when we do this, we don't wanna be sinking down like this. We wanna be really opening, expanding up, rolling the shoulders down the back as we squeeze the glutes and push the hips up and forward. Now this is going to open our, our um, inner thighs and begin to open up the chest, but it's a really great stretch for the shoulders and the chest. Exhale and lower. Let's go ahead and change the crossing of the legs to so put the opposite leg on top and do the same thing on this side. Fingertips facing forward, place behind you, lean back onto the balls of the hands. <sighs> Inhale, lift the hips and come forward, opening the chest, finding a nice stretch in the arms and the shoulders and the hips and the inner thighs and lower. All right, go ahead and shake that out and extend your legs out to either side of the mat. Work your way into it. I like to place my hands on my hip crease just to be sure that I'm firm and rooted to the earth. If you need to, place a blanket or a bolster beneath your glutes and beneath your hips to give yourself a little lift. If you're feeling tightness in the knees, please bend your knees as much as you need to. This is okay. And so we're going to actually inhale to elongate and then exhale, just reach the arms forward. And we wanna find an inner rotation of the of the um, inner of the inner legs <laughs> so inhale roll the shoulders down the back exhale reach forward breathing inhaling exhaling to sink in inhaling elongating exhaling sink in beautiful we're gonna come back up out of it release the palms take a moment here to feel the change in the body that has just happened And once again, we're going to reach out. Maybe you come a little bit further down this time. Maybe you wanna drop your palms to the floor and begin to pull yourself forward. Remember, inner rotation of the thighs. Inhale, elongate. Exhale, sink in a little deeper or begin to fold from the hips, keeping the, um, the hips firmly rooted to the earth. Pulling yourself forward. We don't want to have too much of a round in the back. We always want to be internally rotating and pulling forward. And walk yourself back up out of it. 
Now we're going to take the palms, place them behind the back and interlace the fingers. Then we're going to inhale, open the chest, reach the palms back, exhale, fold forward, go as far forward as you can, keeping the back straight, pulling the shoulders down the back. Hang out here for a few breaths, really uh, folding over from the hip crease. We don't wanna be rounding all the way down like this. We wanna be opening, extending the spine. The goal is to not make it all the way down to the floor, but to open up the body. Keep that in mind. That's how we maintain flexibility. To become flexible, you have to be patient. You have to accept where you're at. One more deep breath here, inhale. Exhale, sink a little deeper. Just play your edge. See how far you can go. Release the jaw, release the muscles in the face. Maybe smile. <laughs> you got this. And come up out of it, beautiful. <sighs> Take a nice deep breath, notice where you're at, maybe rock side to side. Feel the opening that you just created within yourself. And when you're ready, just go ahead and pull the feet together. And we're going to come into a lizard pose on the um, right side. So I'm going to extend my foot behind me, toes are tucked under, and just lift my knee up and take it to the outer edge of the mat. I want to make sure that there's plenty of space here so I don't want to be up too far like this. I want to be really, really elongating as if I was going into a runner's lunge. Now this right leg needs to be out a little bit further than the hip because we're going to place the palms inside of the foot and we're gonna pull ourselves forward as we sink in, lowering in. Yeah, you feel that? <clears throat> Maybe taking, uh, try, try sliding the shoulder down next to the right knee and see what happens. <laughs> it's a little bit of a deeper stretch. If you'd like, you can drop that back knee, place the palms to the floor, and fold forward even deeper. Even if you're up like this, if this is too much for you to keep the knee up, please drop that back knee and stay here. Once again, finding that level of acceptance for yourself. It's cool. Be where you're at, it's okay. Take a few more deep breaths here. Sinking in. <laughs> Then walk the palms back up. Go ahead and swing that foot back. And then we'll just go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. So we'll step the left foot up, extend the right foot back. Take the left foot to the outer corner of the mat. And then begin to walk our palms forward to the inside of the left foot. Foot, reposition as needed. You can stay here and sink in. It's actually a little more challenging. <sighs> Breathing here, it's nice to take nice deep inhalations and breathe out with breath of fire. <sighs> Sighing it out. Once again, dropping that back knee if you need to. Sinking in, maybe coming on to the edge of this left foot to find a deeper opening in the inner thigh. Smiling, of course. <laughs> Go ahead and walk your hands back up. And then just shoot that left foot back and come back down to hands and knees. Let's go ahead and take a child's pose here. That can be pretty strenuous on the body. We definitely need to balance that out with some rest. go ahead and come back up out of that child's pose and then we're going to extend the left leg behind us and just draw it in between the hands and walk the outer edge of the left foot towards the outer edge of the mat and then go ahead and begin to walk that right that right leg back coming into our pigeon pose now if your heel is closer to your groin this is a lot easier. There's less pulling, less tension, less grasping. If you'd like more, or if you're just more open in general, go ahead and walk that left foot up the edge of the mat. And then um, the toes can be tucked under or they can be 
out flat depending on what your body needs and what is safe for your body. So I'm just gonna walk myself forward, bowing down into pigeon pose. If you're here, that's okay. If you wanna come down on your forearms, awesome. If you wanna come all the way down, sweet. Whatever it is that you need. People don't become flexible overnight. You have to work into it. <laughs> it can be very challenging. But this is really going to open up the outer thigh. So we worked on opening the inner thighs. We've opened up the side bodies with a twist. And this is really gonna get into the rest of our leg. Maybe begin to uh, rotate a little in the, in the pelvic region, making little circles. And you'll feel that that's gonna open you up a little bit more. Uh, it gets really deep into those little tiny spaces that we tend to ignore often. A few more breaths here. <laughs> and then go ahead and lift yourself back up. We're actually just gonna bend that back knee and pull it forward as we transition to pigeon on the right side. So go ahead and just uh, bring that right knee to the outer right edge of the mat and come into your variation of pigeon pose, whether that's heel pulled in or heel towing the foot up into a square. Place the palms in front of your leg and work into your stretch. <laughs> then we'll lower down onto the forearms. I'm actually gonna stay here right here because this feels good. We always have one side that's tighter than the other and it's perfectly normal. Every single one of us is like that. I mean, maybe not all of us, but you know, us, yeah. <laughs> mm. I don't know, why don't, why don't you tell me, do you find that tighter on one side than the other? And you know, what works for you to balance that out? If you are a practitioner of yoga or, or any kind of sport, you definitely notice the difference in sides, I'm sure. So I would love to hear your feedback on how you actually deal with that and any tips that you have on evening out both sides of your body would be awesome. Knowledge is power. It's a beautiful thing. We should share what we know. A few more deep breaths here. I know you've been in this for a while. We're about to come out of it. Go ahead and press your palms into the floor and walk yourself up. We're going to go ahead and pull that left knee in and go ahead and bring your feet together into this comfortable seated position again and notice the difference. We're just gonna be here for a moment, kind of just feeling out the space that we've created. I'm feeling more flexible already. I hope you are too. Now we're gonna actually open up the shoulders a little bit more since we've gotten into the legs and the side body. We're gonna just go ahead and lie on the back. This is a little bit tricky. So my, the back of my body is going to be facing you. So we're gonna, um, Reach the right arm back and kind of lower down onto it. And then reach the left arm up. And you'll notice um, that my right knee is bent a little bit and this is just to help me get into the posture. So I'm going to lift the um, left arm up and then just begin to drop it behind me and you'll start to feel an opening in this arm. I can't find my arm, there it is. <laughs> in the right arm and in the top and the shoulder. And this could be really tight for you. So just know that being here is okay. This is awesome. I'm going to straighten out my legs and I would like a little more. So I'm actually gonna bend my left knee and walk it to the inside of my right thigh. And then if you'd like, you can try to find your, there I am, try to find your fingers. It's a little tough, you'll see. And we're just gonna hang out here, take a few deep breaths. Just wait till you come out of this. It's gonna be awesome, it feels amazing. You're creating so much space right now. It's gonna blow your mind. Good. Breathe. Go ahead and come out the way that you came in, releasing the arm first and then the leg and rolling onto the belly. And we'll go ahead and do the other side. And this time you can see the front of me so you can see what the heck is going on there. So I'm gonna extend my right arm back, roll onto my right side. Oh, I'm sorry, that's my left side. <laughs> and then <laughs> extend the right arm up 
and just lower it back behind me as far as I can go. My head lowers to the earth over my shoulder. And then I kind of want to, I, I definitely want a little more because I'm feeling a little more open today. So I'm going to extend my right leg, or my left leg, and walk my right foot just outside my left thigh and then lower um, my right hand down to meet my left and sort of roll onto my shoulder. Do you guys ever forget your rights and your lefts or get them mixed up because I do it all the time? It's kind of bad as a yoga instructor, right? <laughs> it's funny. Mm. Breathe here. We always want to breathe because breathing creates opening and that's why you hear us saying that all the time in yoga classes. Breathe and breathe because <laughs> it's so important. Use the breath to open. <sighs> all right, go ahead and come out of this the way that you came in, perhaps releasing the arm first and then the leg or even simultaneously and roll onto the belly and then just place the palms on either side of you face up or down and just notice the space you've just created. Do you feel more flexible? Do you feel more open? Hmm. All right. So place the palms beneath your shoulder and just push yourself back up. Walk the knees in and then we'll come and take a comfortable seated position once more cross-legged. Just notice how awesome you feel. Take a few deep breaths here, settling back into your space. Thank you, yogis, for coming to your mat today and uh, doing your practice and listening to my silly teaching style. Go ahead and give yourself a hug or a pat on the back. Hopefully you feel more open and flexible. Namaste, my friends. See you later.